when the lights go out, you're gonna need at least four different things. Food, water, a bug out bag, and self-defense items. So let's take a look at those real quick. When the lights go out, most people only have two to three days worth of food on hand in their cabinets. It's a good idea to keep at least two weeks worth of freeze dried or dehydrated foods. MREs, military meals ready to eat, will also work well. And canned goods or other dried goods from the grocery store can also work. Having at least one gallon per day per person is a minimum for water. You need water for drinking and sanitation. More people in the house means more water. zombies aren't really a real threat. Desperate and hungry people after a crisis situation are, and they should be taken seriously. So it's important to have some type of self-defense. Now some people will argue that these types of tools, knives, pepper spray, a baseball bat, or a baton, is enough. I think they're living in a fantasy land. What you should be looking for is having something it is more effective and more realistic to be able to provide for your self-defense in a crisis situation. Firearms are gonna be the best option, whether it be a small pistol, something that you can carry on you concealed, a shotgun, or a rifle. Every citizen should be able to provide for their own self-defense in their home, or if they have to leave their home in a bug out kind of scenario. Your home, a well-defended home, is one of the best places for you to be able to provide for your own security. But if the security situation in your area during a disaster situation becomes such that you have to leave and you're left with no other option, then you need to be able to have a bug out bag. A bug out bag is nothing more than a backpack that's packed with all of the uh, materials that you would need to survive in the wilderness for three to five days. Ideally, the weight of the bug out bag should be no more than 20% of the body weight of the person who's carrying it. Each member of your family should also have a bug out bag. So those are the four basic things you need to become prepared for a disaster. Hopefully you guys have learned something and enjoyed the uh, lighthearted film. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more information, please visit www.realitysurvival.com. Thanks.